Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through two different methods for embedding a video into your website. So we're gonna cover actually uploading a video file and then simply using a video link from YouTube. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so I have a basic editor set up just for the purpose of today's video. So There are two different websites. You'll see that we have this one here, which is going to be our example with basically just the video file. And then this one here is going to be our example for a YouTube link. So for the video file itself, every website builder or most are going to have some slight differences. Now, the majority of them will allow you to either add an element and then add in an image or a video, and that's one way to get the file uploaded. There are also typically going to be some different file manager options in your website as well. So <clears throat> the idea is wherever your website files are is where you're going to be able to upload your video file, but it's different for different scenarios. So some web editors might let you go add an element, click add in a video, or maybe add in a file or something along those lines. And then once that file's been uploaded, you can link to it with HTML. So we'll walk through that very, very quickly. So I already have this video file uploaded and it's given me this link to where it's been uploaded in the actual website directory. So what you can do at this point, you actually have a couple of different options. You can either link to that URL or you can use this HTML code, which I will go ahead and paste in the description. So basically what this HTML code says is all you need to do is replace where it says URL.mp4 and you're gonna leave the double quotes and then URL.ogv. So those are two different video formats. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to pull in these two video formats based on the URL you provided. And if it can't, then it's going to say, you know what, we can't do it in your browser. And then it'll just provide this link. So the idea is the URL text appears three times. You have it twice right here and then once right here. So the MP4 is going to be the MP4 version of your video, and then the OGV is the OGV version. So basically just providing a couple of different formats. Now, <clears throat> you can typically find converters online. Just make sure that you're using an authentic verified one so that you don't have any issues with like scams or downloading viruses. Now, if you're interested, I'm not affiliated with this website in any way, but I am providing a link, uh, or I'll just show this right here, and I'll put the link in the description for W3 Schools, which has tons of different resources, but you'll see we have similar HTML code here, and general idea about how this works with things like auto autoplay and things like that. So basically what you can do is in your web editor, you can go ahead and hit the plus button or wherever you have the ability to add in a widget. You can add in your embed code. And then once you've done that, you'll basically find where it's essentially added it, which in my case is right here. And then <clears throat> I can click enter code. And then here is where I would simply paste in this code. And then I would update the URLs and update my website and it would allow me to view that video just like it's displaying right here. And you'll see right here when I click this, I have the ability to download because this is the video file and not the actual YouTube video. So now let's show it with a website that does not currently have a video playing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use YouTube for this one. So we've already done the video upload option. Option two is embedding a YouTube video. So <clears throat> I made this video a while back on making a power app from an Excel file. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this share button. Now, when you do this, you have a couple of different options for sharing. So you can use an embed code or you can link to the video itself. So some web editors will allow you to click this add button and then click add video. And from here, you can click edit video and specify the URL. So this is maybe a, like we'll just say a, a third option that you can use. This is not the embed option we're gonna be using, but this is just something that a lot of web editors allow you to do. Now, if you need the HTML code for it, for whatever reason, then what you can do is you can delete that <clears throat> Same as before, add an element, or just in your raw HTML file, click this embed code, which I already have one here. Now I can click this code, delete everything, 
Go here, and then at this point, what you would want to do is click this embed option, and you'll see all of the details here, and you can choose whether or not to start at one second, show player controls, etc., and then you just click copy. Once you've done this, you go here, paste the code, click embed, and when you click update website, usually within a minute or so, depending on your platform that's being used, you would then be able to refresh your page and then scroll down and see that video now embedded. So I hope this was helpful. It was two or three methods. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment box below.